Good afternoon. You are now watching English News on TV Sarawak. Keep watching. Tourism destinations in Sarawak are back in the spotlight as the tourism sector has been gradually reopened during the Recovery Movement Control Order, RMCO. Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Dato Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza said the tourism industry has started to show improvement and he is optimistic that the sector would be back to normal at a faster rate than expected. Yang dapat kita lihat pada hari ini. Tadi dalam perjalanan ke, uh, untuk datang ke sini memang penuh uh, jalannya jam uh, dan uh, saya difahamkan juga minggu lepas apabila uh, hujung minggu macam ini juga tadi apabila saya pergi ke damai uh, damai resort uh, saya bertanya dengan pengurusnya bagaimana okupansi mereka mengatakan memang cukup bagus untuk uh, masa ini ini menunjukkan bahawa um, industri pelancongan kita sudah mula balik um, mula balik dan uh, seperti sedia kala dan sekiranya kadar um, orang menginap di resort-resort seperti ini sudah balik kepada sedia kala kemungkinan kita akan dapat kembali lebih cepat lagi daripada apa yang kita jangkakan Speaking at the launch of the discount rate for Sarawak Cultural Village, SCV, yesterday, he said the discount for SCV entry fees will last until the end of 2020 in an effort to boost the local economy. The election machinery of Parti Pesaka Bumi Putra Besatu, PBB Pantai Damai Branch, was urged to prepare for the upcoming state polls, which can be held any time from now. BBB Vice President Datuk Dr. Abdul Rahman Junaidi said it was important that emphasis be given on collaboration among PBB leaders at branch level. Speaking at the Randau Gabungan Pati Sarawak GPS at Kampung Jaya Bakti on Saturday night, Dr. Abdul Rahman Junaidi said the upcoming state election would be the first under the leadership of Chief Minister Datuk Patinggi Abang Zuhari Tun Abang Haji Openg. Therefore, he urged the PBB to emerge victorious and that the Chief Minister is given a strong mandate to administer the state. On another note, Dato Dr. Abdul Rahman Junaidi has reminded PBB Pantai Damai branch not to be lulled into complacency by the good results achieved in the past, but instead work even harder to ensure that achievements will be maintained. He said even though Pantai Damai is a PBB stronghold, the opposition has always fielded candidates in the constituency since he first contested in 2001. And that is all for now. More news coming up next on TV Sarawak, anytime, anywhere.